this is Clayton from TimAndParts.com. Today I'm going to be doing another tech video. Um, this time it was a viewer suggestion. Um, we're going to go ahead and learn how to replace a broken power tube on the Cronus. Um, and it'll be pretty similar for the, the 98s, the A5s. Um, all that stuff is pretty much the same. Um, this one's being a little bit different. So I went ahead and took off all my attachments already. Got all the screws out. Make the video a little bit shorter as you can see. Alright, so let's get into it. To replace the power tube, we're going to need to pull the receivers apart. It's kind of difficult sometimes. Alrighty. So now we have the inside of the Cronus. And what we're trying to replace is the power tube, which of course is this black plastic piece right here. Um, it's important to note that there are two screws on the underside that hold the power tube into the gun so if you're trying to take it apart and those screws are in there it's not going to actually come out um, which would obviously be problematic alright so the first thing we're going to do is just get some of this stuff out of the way um, just focusing on replacing the power tube today so we're going to pull out the bolt the bolt guide both bolts actually just kind of set all this stuff to the side I'm going to make sure we're not losing our little pieces though came out already. We're going to need to take that bar off. So now from this point where we've got everything, we can go ahead and work towards getting this power tube out. So now that I've taken out the two screws on the underside, I can just kind of wiggle this off and then pull out the tank adapter as well. I'm going to pull both those parts out and it's just going to come right out. This whole assembly is going to come out. I'm just going to go ahead and put this to the side for now. So this is what we're focused on. So now we have the power tube mixed with the transfer, the air transfer tube. And we're just trying to replace that. So we're going to take a crescent wrench or a, a sized wrench would work the same. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, it's not focusing for me. Give it a second. There we go. So we're going to take crescent wrench... And hook it onto this metal and tighten it up and then just unscrew it to the left then we're just going to keep looping it around to the left and there it comes off so now we have our air transfer tube and our ASA right there and the power tube with the valve which is the silver piece inside of it. Now to get the valve out you're going to need to put it on a, a table or something of the sort and kind of loosen it. And As you can see they come out pretty easy. You can also take a pencil or a pen and you have to have the, the velocity adjuster unscrewed a little bit. And then once that's out of the way, we can use a pencil or a pen and go down like that to pop out the valve. So now we're going to keep the valve, put it in our new power tube. Um, in our case, nothing was wrong with this one. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it back. But you're going to put the valve in the new power tube, not the cracked one. Um, it's always good to put a little bit of oil on this O-ring right here when you put it back together. So we'll do, uh, do that. Just kind of rub that around. And we need to line up the two holes there and then the one where our air transfer tube is going to go in. So we're going to slide that in and get it just right. Alright, and so now we have the valve and the power tube. Let me go ahead and screw this back in a little bit, the velocity adjuster. Alright, so now we have our new power tube with our valve ready to be put back on. And then 
you should take a little bit of Teflon tape, which I actually didn't grab before I went and got this video. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of Teflon tape and get ready to seal it up so it won't leak on it. Alright, now I've got some Teflon tape right here, and I'll show you guys how to do this. I'm going to pull a little bit out, and we are going to just put a little bit on the threads. We're going to flatten it out, and then we're just going to rotate it one time around. You don't need to put a whole bunch of Teflon tape on. Just one time around is good. Tear it off. And so there we have the air transfer tube with Teflon tape ready to be put into the valve in the power tube. So we're going to do that the same way that we got it out, just opposite. So we're going to take that crescent wrench and we're going to tighten it. You shouldn't over tighten this, so once it gets snug, it's good enough, um, but you don't want to leave it loose because it can cause leak. So about right there, it's getting pretty hard to turn, so I'm going to leave it. That's what we want. So now we're ready to bring the marker back in the frame and show you how to put it back together. Alright, so the valve, we have to keep in mind, these two screws are going to hold the valve and the power tube in place, so they need to line up with their two slots in there, right here and over. We're going to go ahead and put that in, grab my spring here, and then we can go ahead and attach the power or the, the air source adapter along with the air transfer tube. Go ahead and put all that back together now. Gotta get it in like that. Alright. So now we have the new power tube hooked in and we're ready to continue to put it back together. We should put some oil on this o-ring as well, the rear hammer one. Let that get around there. Put the front bolt back on. You gotta be careful those springs popping out on you. Alright, now I got it. Alright, then we'll attach those two. That goes in like that. We're ready to slide all this back in. And then we've got all that ready to go. So that's what it's going to look like when you're ready to put the other receiver half back on. And so now we'll do that. Alrighty, and it's snapped back together. 
Again, those valve screws are going to be on that side. That holds in the valve and the power tube. So we're going to screw those back in, and then we're just going to put it back together um, with all those screws, which I'm not going to do because this video is already over 10 minutes long. Um, but anyways, that's how you're going to replace the power tube on the, the Cronus. Um, 98s and A5s are going to be pretty much the same. Um, you're still going to need your crescent wrench, but instead of that air transfer tube, you're going to be dealing with a braided line. Um, but you're still going to want to teft tape your new the line when you put it into the into the valve again. Um, everything else is the same. All right. If there's any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. Um, thanks again for the video idea. Sorry it took so long for me to get it out. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos, let me know. All right. Thanks.